What is up, F and True followers and the members of the YWC GC Styles here? F and True Wrestling back with the Monday Night Raw review for 12 5 2011. Now, sorry that I have not been here to do Monday Night Raw reviews in the last couple of weeks. I've actually been away on vacation or have had family visiting. So, I am back, and I will be producing Monday Night Raw reviews, whether solo or with Brian. We will also be doing our pay-per-view reviews, predictions, the return to Q&A, and anything else that, you know, we enjoy doing for you, our viewers. So, let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm wearing the Broski headband, the Broski t-shirt. I can't wait. This Thursday, I will be meeting Zach Ryder. Can't wait. But, Monday Night Raw. We uh, see Cena come out and talk about the incident that happened during Piper's Pit, the slap that heard around the world, how Piper talked about how he knows that Cena dislikes when the fans boo him, and it eats at him, it eats at his very core, how he was trying to get him to open up and admit it by slapping him across the face. You know, Cena also talked about how he enjoys that the fans pay their hard-earned money to come and see the show, and they have the right to who they want to cheer and who they want to boo. John Cena feeds off of the people that boo him, and he also enjoys when the fans come and cheer him and have a good time. Then we see Del Rio come out, and he talk. They, they go every. They go back and forth about who's going to be WWE champion, who's going to get the next shot. Then we see Ziggler come out, and he talks about how. He deserves to be champion, how he was the only one who has been on the winning streak as of late. Also, we see The Miz come out, and, you know, they basically do their whole routine where they decide on who, argue who's going to be WWE champion. Then we see Laurinaitis come out and say that he's going to mix things up. All four men will have a chance to compete in matches, and if they win their matches against the opponents from SmackDown, that they would make it into the TLC main event for the WWE Championship. We see first match off, we see Randy we see the Miz defeat Randy Orton by count out when Wade Bear interferes in distracting Randy Orton. We see a social media match made with John Cena versus Zack Ryder later on. If Zack wins he gets a future United States Championship shot. If Cena wins Cena gets a gets his spot in the WWE main of championship main event at TLC. Then we see Nash and Otunga. Nash says Otunga tells Nash that he will be wrestling, but doesn't tell against who. Triple H, uh, sorry, Kevin Nash basically turns around and said he doesn't care who it is if it's not Triple H. We see Alberto Del Rio pick up the win over Daniel Bryan, which we see. The Miz and Del Rio advance into the main event for the WWE Championship at TLC. We then see Kelly Kelly and uh, Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres take on Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Pre-match, we see the uh, this ominous it look within promo. I believe it will. Uh, I believe that it will have something to do with a returning diva. Hopefully, maybe possibly Karma's return, or maybe a new diva uh, to come back to the WWE. We see Kelly Kelly and Eve pick up the win over Beth Phoenix. We see John Cena defeat Zack Ryder. We see post-match Zack Ryder say, John, this was my last shot. I had one shot. Why did you do this? Then we see Cena go back and, and, and get in Laurinaitis' face and says that how Zack busted his ass, worked off, you know, busted his ass every night to become, you know, to get his chance to wrestle for the United States Championship. He holds three victories over Dolph Ziggler. He basically gets in Laurinaitis' face and tells him to make the match. Then we see Laurinaitis says, well, I'll give Zach his one shot if you choose to step down and drop out of the WWE Championship match at TLC. So Cena goes, you know, I've been a 10-time WWE champion. I've been a 10-time champion, and all because someone gave me a shot. So I'm going to give this kid a shot, and he stepped down. But the catch was that Zack would have to wrestle one more match in order to become number one contender. So then we see... Zack Ryder come out, well, which was in the ring left over from the John Cena match. We see Mark Henry come walking out. Now, 
basically the odds were stacked against Zack Ryder. It was a no count out, no disqualification match to to make sure that there was a winner. We see Zack Ryder pick up the win with the assist from John Cena. Your United States number one contender is now Zack Ryder. Woo woo woo. Then we see Nash pick up the win in a quick squash match over Santino. We see Sheamus pick up the win over Dolph Ziggler, which Ziggler did not make it into the TLC main event for the WWE Championship. We then see this contract signing, which was promised earlier in the night. We see CM Punk, The Miz, and Alberto Del Rio sign the WWE the contract for the WWE Championship. Now, the catch. Now, this is going to be a tables, ladders, and chairs match for the WWE Championship. So we see all three men sign the contract. Then we see Lauren Ida say, come on, let's all take a picture and not have a contract signing and in travesty in fighting. So then CM Punk starts running his mouth and blah, 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 hoopity hop, blah, you know, be Jesus this. If you start talking about it's your destiny, I'm going to start to drink. You know, it was just a really entertaining contract signing. And we see CM Punk say, well, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. We basically see CM Punk put Del Rio through a table and we see The Miz get put to sleep to end the night. Now, guys, I'm sorry that I cannot give you more. I'm sorry that this video is very lax tonight. I just wanted to get something out for you guys. I enjoyed Raw very much. I enjoyed Raw last week, and I also enjoyed Raw the week before, which I, for those of you who did notice, I did have a video up, but there was technical difficulties, and I pulled it down due to no audio. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please, please, please check out the effing true click, Brian's Fight Nation Wrestling. And also, please check out F and True Entertainment for all your entertainment needs. I will be uploading a WWE 12 review. I got a chance to play a little bit of it. Well, a lot of it. So I want to give you guys my review on it. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the WWE 12 review. Have a great night.